What? What's this? Is it? Uh, that that looks like Swarm Queen. This is the game that you guys in the last episode were saying more, 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 more. Spinjitsu was saying, letting you know I want more Swarm Queen. In parentheses, so I'd imagine it's like a whisper, like, letting you know I want more Swarm Queen. And then Jans said it in a fun way where he's like, I'm going to let you know that I want more of this game. And here is Adobe Air update. We're gonna do that later. So we are approximately 71% through this campaign. Whatever are we going to do when we finish the Swarm Queen campaign, because this series is so much fun, and you guys are absolutely loving it, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what game we should do next. I'm trying to find a game that is like this. A game that is similar to Swarm Queen in style that I'd enjoy playing and you guys would enjoy watching. Now, Sarthak, what a, that's a cool name, Sarthak. He was saying, by the way, Stickman Legacy is like Swarm Queen, but more realistic. And with Stickmen instead of aliens. And I can choose when you want them to attack, and the game is way too easy and normal to insane. What do you guys think? Should I check out Stickman Legacy? That thing had was the most liked comment of the last video. So here we go. We have what looks like is a scorpion. Now this is kind of funny. In the last video, uh, Michelle was saying that a lobster with spider legs is an evolved scorpion. Hey, can't argue that. So we're gonna have spitters, we're gonna have both males units and then we're gonna have this which I'm almost wondering if it's not an evolution of the melee I unless it's gonna fire lightning bolts what do you guys think are, are we gonna encounter some kind of crazy thing actually hold the phone hold the phone hold the phone all the phone must be held we need to upgrade our stuff whoa neurotoxin recharges two seconds faster all right, so I, I've only got 23 here. What's this one? Tactical swap. Now, this one seems to be really good. There's no, like, super one, honestly. Your tier three harvesters have a 30% chance to give plus one nectar, but all your harvester... Yeah, honestly, this neurotoxin seems to be the best, and the rest, uh, you know, we're, we're just gonna keep it there. Actually, hold on. 20% queen health? I mean, why not? Then that, that'll help us get the third star in all these. All right, so... Let's see what we've got going on here. Level 16, I love this, man. This music, I just watched First Man yesterday, which is all about um, the first man on the moon, which was uh, Buzz Lightyear, just kidding. Neil Armstrong, and then Buzz Aldrin. Cool, there's water everywhere. It doesn't have any effect on the gameplay though. It's just a background, that's pretty funny. But what if it did? What if there were more than one lane? I always I always wonder about that. You act like you don't know what I mean, but I think you do. They just broke the fourth wall, huh? You're not really saying, huh? You're reading this text and understanding completely. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm not talking to the Swarm Queen. I'm talking to you. Boom. Dramatic effect. You're creepy. I'm gonna murder you. Now, you're gonna try, player. What? You don't know who I am? You don't know where I live? You don't know that I ate Chick-fil-A for breakfast and it was delicious? Although, instead of the English muffin, why did I veer from the biscuit and get the English muffin? You guys ever have Chick-fil-A for breakfast? Who doesn't have Chick-fil-A available to them? I wanna know, I wanna know. And like, what is the best breakfast in the world? That is, that's the fun question of the day. The gaming question of the day is, what's the next game like Swarm Queen that we can play? All right, now it's time to save up and look at this. I'm thinking he might go shooters, shoot, shooters. What is that? <gasps> organ. We, we opened this up in the last video, right? So the proto organ doesn't do anything, but it can't be, but it can be mutated into an extra organ for your Swarm Queen. Well, I mean, I have no idea what that is. All right, so now, Extra heart, passive upgrade which makes your minions faster. Passive tactical upgrade for your Swarm Queen. Neuro neurotoxin recharges 20% faster. Extra ovaries, passive upgrade to make your basic minions more cost effective. Minions cost 20% less. So if a unit is 20, then they now go to be 16. All right. Are you spitting out bad boys? What you gon' what you gonna do? Alright, let's go with let's go with some blade links. This guy's gonna start. See this guy in the middle? Once he counts down to zero, he doesn't fire off a nuclear reaction! No, he spits out this little Go ahead. Poop it out. Poop it out. Start pooping it out. Pew! There we go. A little 
Alright, I'll, I'll send out a, a group of four. Skirmishing group of four bladelings. Now, he's doing what? Two? Three? Oh, he did four too. Okay, now we're gonna- basically we hit that and now it's on our side. Oh, I was gonna do that too. Neurotoxin to you, sir! Ah, 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 ah. Alright, let's get more. Look at this, now I've got my reinforcements, he's also got his reinforcements. This is a battle of the ages here in the center of the map, but it looks like we're turning the tide and also... Not enough nectar? Don't you tell me. Dude, he's really good at firing his neurotoxin. I've, I've gotten better, but so has the enemy. Alright, so now it's time to evolve to the next... I'm thinking we go spitters. Oh wow, I just realized that this organ is, uh, you know, expensive. My god. Do you think he got extra organs? I don't think I can tell if he got extra organs. I'm not sure if it's a visual thing. Alright. Here we go. Now I'm starting to put spitters on the- on the battlefield. Man, he's really just pumping these guys out. I'm thinking I like- I wanna tech up- Oh, you remember this guy? The smart bug launcher? We haven't used him in a while. And then we've got the spewers, which are better, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna go for spewers because then I'll need less of these guys because they can fire more. Gosh, he's so good at the neurotoxins. Let's see if my spitters are able- No, it doesn't look like it because he's got a lot of melees, doesn't he? Melee's beating the bladelings. Oh, actually, no, we could- we could win this one. Alright, so this is my first wave here. Oh, he's already got the big boys! I see your big boys and I raise you some of my own. Now, they- they're 75. So... Let's go ahead and upgrade. We're- but right now we're keeping pace with the enemy. Although, I guess technically, we've upgraded too, so... Actually, I'm ahead in technological development. Let's neurotoxin these. Buy us a little more time for these spitters to finish them off, hopefully without dying. Oh my gosh. See, it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors type mechanic, which it generally is in strategy games. Um, look at that. He can hit all three of them. That's fantastic. Alright, so I'm saving up right now. Alright, so I did three big boys and then three support. Now, what is he doing? I'm- I don't- I have no idea what that scorpion thing is all about. Alright, so at this point I'm thinking maybe... Do I- I'm not really doing a quantity situation, right? Alright, I've got to figure out what I want. Do I want to do the support, the gloop, the goop slug? I don't know what the guy's doing, so I'm almost thinking of getting the thing that fires artillery from long range. But I'm not certain yet. Alright, we've got our next waves coming in. He just fired his neurotoxin, which basically took out my frontline troops. Look at that. They just whittled down, man. You are now on my side, sir. Hmm. I'm not sure what the scorpion does. I'm gonna go ahead and go for air power. Air power is usually pretty good anyway. Okay, now I should be upgrading my economy. That's one of the things I kind of maybe was slow on this. Alright, go ahead. Get all of your big boys in here. Ooh, the front lines are in favor of him right now. And bam! Fire! Fire the main cannons! We're going straight for it, guys. That's- that's working out. So now to get to tier three harvesters, the super harvesters, we need to save up. As usual, here's a new minion. All right, well, what is it? Ooh, oh my god. Don't pretend to be surprised. You saw the white outline on the- <laughs> Okay, these things are moving super fast. Uh, this is- What does he do? Is he melee? He seems like he's melee. Now, oh yeah, he's totally melee. So it's a good reason that I went for air power. He doesn't have any air power. If I would have known that, I mean, that's the thing. Wow, we actually defeated him pretty well because he's attacking my workers. He killed one of my harvesters. You dirty beast! All right, so we've got one super air power guy. Super air power guy. Like, what, what, what kind of terminology am I using? That is a, a diverse and interesting biological organism that seems to be sulfur-based, firing lightning out of his jelly tentacles hanging on the underside of his midsection. Oh my god, look at it! It looks like a snow globe shooting out lightning bolts from his booty butt! You know, it's just- it's just science, really. Alright, so... Wait, is that mine? Yeah, that's mine. Wow, I- I kinda just was getting so... Ooh! Get neurotoxified. Alright, so these scorpions are super powerful. I think they do like 12 damage a hit. Now, what do we got going on? He's probably gonna, what, keep putting out them scorpions. Now, I don't wanna go below 50%, so... Ooh. At some point, he's going to be tempted to fire the nuke. Now, I want to upgrade to the carrier, seeing as how he's not really investing in air power. 
He's investing in melee technology, which these guys seem to be, what, faster? He did seven and we did six. I guess he's a little bit bigger. Now we will pump out the, uh, the supports. Yeah, we've got a few more melee dudes. Oh my god. Yeah, there's nothing to counter my melee, or my aerial presence here yet. Those scorpions. I'm trying to figure out what they're good at. Once we defeat this worm, we will have a better understanding for his units. Now we're gonna get our first carrier unit. I'm excited for it! We've had this guy, like, just... He's the only one I made. I, I probably should have pumped out more of them, you know. Hindsight is 20-20, but... General, you know understanding and just kind of situation awareness is, is more than enough for would have told us that we should have done that earlier I did that I probably didn't need to but I did it all right oh ho, ho. well 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 look who it is it's the shooty McShooters over here shooting it up I need to get my level 3 economy he's already got his level 3 economy I'm a little behind and now now that I've invested heavy in air power he's pumping out the anti-air so, goodness! Alright, this could be time to use the tactical nuke. I get one per game, right? I'm gonna save up and just use the tactical nuke. That is, uh, I, or rather, let's, let's... The bio nuke. It's a nuke that nukes all biological organisms in the area. Now, what's this? I can upgrade? No, I can't upgrade it anymore. And I can upgrade this guy? No, I can't upgrade him anymore, either. Nuclear Misco! Oh my gosh, I should have waited. I should have waited. Now remember, my shooters are better than his. Oh my god, look at those reinforcements. I used my nuke, but it wasn't very good. We actually lost one of our harvesters, I think, maybe in that skirmish. Maybe tanks would be good. I don't know if I want to- if I should have gone extra organs, guys. Like, look at this. Yeah, I think I've got to get rid of the organ. And get a tank unit. Or should I get the healing goop slug? Spits goop at your other minions, which heals them. Hmm. Tank or goop? I'm gonna go goop. Look at this, man. Six. He does seven. We do six. So... Or is he doing 12? Someone did 18. Who's doing 18? Wow, look at this army! Once again, we're encountering a superior... Opponent, I used my nuke way too early. This is what happened in the last one. Look at this! Oh my god, that I'm down to five harvesters? The scorpions are overwhelming us! Giant scorpions! What can man do against such hate? Now that my economy's fallen, I don't really anticipate us getting back from this. I think we're gonna use our DeLorean. Look at this production rate. Alright, so there definitely was a time. These guys aren't the best at fighting. I need to go Air Force. That's what I need to do. My Swarm Queen is dying! My god, man! This is terrible! Oh, no. Well... We know. We know. Oh, look! Level 16! It's almost like it didn't happen! Hello there! I'm Baron, welcome back to Swarm Green! Ha ha ha! Just kidding, we were defeated, but we used time travel. Alright, so I'm thinking... We invest more in air power, like, we- we invested in air power late. And as a result, we got smashed. A giant boulder fell from the heavens and we looked up, wondering what it could be. And guess what? That boulder smashed my face. But you know what? It's fine. I'm healed, I'm recovered. We are now wiser, Brigade. We are now wiser and we will defeat these little miscreants! Alright, so I'm sending out my first bladelings. Oh, and of course he did too. I'm gonna have to neurotoxin them early. Maybe not. Maybe not early. Good, we got all four of them. Alright. So, I used my bio nuke too early in the last game, and I also didn't invest in air power early enough, so we're gonna save up for, what, 50? We're gonna get our 12th harvester. My god, so he's just mass pumping these guys out. Alright, I got two air units this time. Actually, I'm gonna go with three. Because they're gonna be able to whittle these guys down, and I'm gonna be able to rely on less bladelings. Don't you get your air targets yet. This is getting challenging now. He's still at level one workers. All right, now I think we have critical mass. And so now it's time to probably save up while keep putting out a few bladelings. Yeah, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna go straight for upgrading my air. So to the next level, I need 60. Let's do that. Let's just do it. We needs it. We wants it. All right, now he's got the big baddies. 
but I've got some big bad air power. But you can see the neurotoxin has continually beat it down a little bit. All right, now we're at level two workers. I think this is, ooh, dang, that neurotoxin just took out half of my air force. I've been thinking like, wouldn't it be cool to have one of these where it's like underwater units? Okay, here's the new minion, the scorpion. But I've got my workers upgraded before his this time, so. And they can't attack the air, which is fantastic, but my god do they wreck the ground. So I need to have continual air presence, and then I'm thinking I do, I want a tank and a goop. I don't think I'm gonna go for spitters yet, but I don't know. Look at this, these guys just kill my ground units. Alright, uh, we've got four big flyers. They're good at doing damage, but they don't do a ton of damage. Do they? All right, so what I did here was I'm investing in tanks. Good against rain minions or protecting your other minions. So I'm gonna use the tank to kind of absorb most of this, most of the damage that these scorpions do while I further invest in the air force because he's been pumping out scorpions. What's interesting is I thought that our, like, counter of going straight air would have been enough to defeat these guys pretty well, but his use of neurotoxins is really damaging. So here's our first tank out now. Hopefully it can soak up a lot of damage, which, I mean, it's called a tank, right? So it should. Oh, here come the spitters, great. But look at how much, look at how much damage the tank can absorb. So I'm thinking the tank and then the goop as the, our last unit. This guy is what I call the goop slug, which basically is a support. He's like the healer. You know, if you're going on a raid. Oh, massive blow. These tanks are definitely adequate because they have, they can literally tank damage. And look at that, they do three units of four, so they're good at dealing with swarms. A swarm queen, I am the swarm queen, my friend. All right, let's do that. Oh my God, look at how many there are. And then we need to get some air units up. They just keep pumping the Scorpios out. All right, I need next level harvesters. Which is 125. My god, these things are just, uh, I lost a harvester? Unbelievable. How am I supposed to beat these things? It almost seems like we're doing worse now. Ha <laughs> I'm really at a loss here. I thought I had this one in the bag. They're already in my home territory. I'm losing harvesters. There's no more. All right. I can, I can withstand this. Even though my queen's almost dead. Is he behind? He's still- he's still there. And there's more. Do we use the nuke? Do we try to survive this? I- I got- guys, I've never- It's never been this hard before! The tank strategy did not work. It didn't work. We got a nuke. I guess. It's a terrible time for it, but... I mean, what are you gonna do? Maybe... I shouldn't have done heavy storm squids. I think- hold on. I- I know. I know. We should have done heavy storm squids because they're too expensive. That's the problem. We went heavy storm squids, and we don't need heavy storm squids. All right, so what I did this time was, I'm just gonna keep these guys, because I can get two of them out. That means I'm gonna be able to get them out much, much faster. And I'm gonna try to overwhelm this area. However, he keeps using Neurotoxin, which seems to be a pretty good way of mitigating the air force, right? I'm gonna have a well-balanced force. That's, I think that's just the play right now, is to use all of the low-tiered units. He's got quant, or he's got quality, or he will, we need to go quantity, maybe. We've tried to go quality, and I don't think that's the play. Maybe that's the problem. All right, he's already got these big guys out. I mean, look at this. He's already got these big guys. I, I decided to go for them as well. And I'm saving up here. Now, he's fighting in my home territory. So, at advantage us. And I'm doing the well-balanced force with, with an emphasis on quantity. Oh, that Neurotoxin took out most of my air power. Weaken my force. No, what's he up to? He must have just been teching. Let's see if these new scorpions are coming anytime soon. And I'm thinking maybe the, the unit we will want to do is the spewers. I felt like the scorpions should have came earlier than they did this time. Yeah, these guys being only 25 is really, really key. Yeah, and then I'm going goop. I feel like that's the way to do it. I'm worried because the scorpions are probably coming out very- Aha! There it is, yes. The timing was uncanny. It's almost like we've been here before. Stop with the neurotoxins! You're such a jerk! Alright, we shall fight here on the battlefields on this unknown planet 16. Get neurotoxified, sir. 
All right, now it's time to goop them. So that way we'll keep our quantity up on the field longer. So tanks were not the way. Wow, these scorpions are doing pretty good. Ah, oh, taking out my air power, but we're whittling them down. And I'm building up for the next force. Yeah, we have to get most of our stuff done before he's able- I, I- I feel like now's the time to get a goop slug out. My god, these armies! My goop came out too late, and now he's going to probably be overrun. No goop! Don't get hit by the scorpion! The scorpion king is here, it's the rock! Oh no! I lost my goop! My god! Alright, now he's got spitters. I- I literally have not a clue how to do this. I must have to... use an organ, maybe? Maybe the goop wasn't the way to do it? He's too expensive? Cause now he's just got mass quantity and I don't know what to do? Like, look at that! Oh my god, I did so much damage! And now my goop's out here like, Hey guys, how you doing? I'm super expensive! <laughs> and now you gonna die! Oh my god. Uh, what, what, like, what do you, what do you do against this? I don't want to use the nuke yet. Oh my god, and I'm losing my workers. Is he on tier three? He is on tier three. How do they do it, man? We've only lost one worker, though. So I guess that's good. Maybe these, these spitters seem to be pretty good. They're just, yeah. Wow, spitters. I need just enough. Oh, these scorpions are getting in and wrecking my guys. Ah. Uh, all right, let's, let's let them build up. I'll delay him with this. Nuke it! Holy crap! Whew! I might die to this bee attrition. And look at this, like, the wave that we just fought off, it's back. It's back! And now my flyers aren't nearly as good. Maybe you don't do flyers, maybe you just do the supporting spitters. And this goop guy, I never even get to use it. I never even get to use him. The scorpion is too powerful, guys. I, I feel... I feel powerless. I feel at a loss. I mean, at a loss because I guess we've already taken two L's today. Not good. This war of attrition, I swear we must endure! Yeah, th these- these- these, um... Skitter bugs are just- we're gonna lose to that stupid bee thing. Literally the hardest. I- I don't know. Maybe we do need tanks? It, it, we're so far behind his level of production. He's just pumping out three units, so he probably has a third organ making his units cheaper. Maybe we should have done the organ upgrade to make our guys cheaper? Because look at- look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, all spitters! Fire! Oh wow, our queen's almost dead. Yeah, this is literally just major loss. The units come out and they're dead. The units come out and they're dead. The units come out and they're dead. I don't know how to defeat it. Guys, we're gonna need to put our thinking caps on and come to some kind of a strategy, because this bee is gonna- I'm gonna die to the bee. One more bee, there he is. Defeat! Alright, so we were always- We had an advantage, and then their level of production after this nuke, I just couldn't match it. Maybe that's where my economy fell behind theirs. Maybe it's an issue with my build order, and my- and the builds themselves? I don't know, gosh. Uh, but I'm looking forward to reading the comments and, and coming up with a, a viable strategy to defeat level 16 because This is crazy. I Wonder how hard level 21 is anyway guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Swarm Queen this one Where we encountered an impossible foe at least it seems that way for now Let me know how we should beat in the next one and if you guys want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next video I'm gonna go cry